Welcome to Monoprice. My name is Gilbert. Today, I will be introducing you to the Monoprice Select Mini 3D Printer version 2. In this video, we will go over unpacking the printer, preparing your printer, and setting up your first print. When you first receive your unit, it will come in several boxes. Carefully remove the inner packaging from the shipping box. In there, you will find the protective foam, and also keep an eye out for the manual, as well as two accessory boxes. Open the two accessory boxes, which will include the following. In one box, you will have the power adapter. The second box, you will have the AC power cord, a USB cable, micro SD card, hex wrench, filament rack, also known as a spool holder, and a plastic scraper. Now that you have all your accessories, let's put it all together. First, you will need to attach the spool holder to the left side of the printer. Next, insert the provided SD card in the slot on the right side of the printer. Finally, you will want to find the AC cord and power adapter and connect it to the back of the printer. When everything is installed, take a moment to look over your printer. There will be some material used to keep everything in place during shipping, so make sure it's removed before continuing. Now, let's go over all the parts of the printer and make sure you can properly identify them. At the top, we have the extruder motor with the tension spring and tab. This will pull the filament from your spool and guide it into the rest of the machine. Here on the side, we have the Bowden connector, which is responsible for helping guide the filament into the PTFE tube which can be released by pushing the blue tab on the Bowden connector. Follow the harness down and we have another Bowden connector that is on the top of the extruder assembly. It serves a similar purpose of guiding the filament, but this time down into the heating block, where your filament will be melted to whichever preset temperature. Here in front of the extruder assembly, we have the extruder fan, which will turn off and on to help control and maintain proper temperatures during printing. Underneath that, we have the nozzle which is where the filament will come out during printing. Be careful around this part, as it will be very hot while the printer is attempting to extrude. This entire assembly is attached to the x-axis gantry. In here, we have the x-axis rods and will allow the extruder to slide back and forth during printing. To move the x-axis, we have a motor inside of the tower, which also houses the z-axis rods, which are responsible for allowing the x-axis gantry to go up and down. Continuing down, we have the heated build plate. Made of aluminum, the build plate will have a pre-installed build mat, which is a great material to print directly on. However, this will not last forever, but you can use different materials to help your prints stick to your bed. For example, Captain Tape or Blue Painters Tape. The heated build plate sits atop the Y-axis rods, which allow the build plate to move front and back for printing. Down at the bottom of the Select Mini, we have the LCD screen, and control wheel. This is used when navigating the menu, monitoring the print jobs, and checking the status of the printer. Then on the back side of the printer, we will have the power switch. Now that everything's assembled, let's get ready to print. Before you start printing, you first need to think about where to print and not really what to print. The area you decide to work in may affect your final product, so be mindful of the following when you choose the best location for your printer. Avoid an open window or air vent. The airflow can cause changes in temperature, which will lead to inconsistent prints. Avoid direct sunlight, as it may cause odd issues with the final product. If the air is too cold, it also may cause more problems, as the layers will cool at different rates. The more control you will have over your environment, the more consistency you will see in your prints. With the printer set up, let's make sure the bed is calibrated. The printer does go through some initial setup before it's packaged and shipped, but unfortunately, a lot can happen during that time, so it's always best to double check the calibration. Turn on the printer. Using the control wheel, navigate to Move, then select Home Axis. This will tell the extruder to make its way to the front left corner of the build area. Once the unit has reached the home position, go ahead and power off the printer to release the motors and allow movement. At this point, Take a piece of paper and slide it in between the nozzle and the build plate. The goal is to feel just a bit of tension on the paper. If you do not feel any tension, then you will need to adjust the height of the plate using the screws in the corners of the build area. 
Move the extruder to all four corners as well as the middle of the build plate to make sure the nozzle is calibrated in any spot. After calibrating those five areas, please check five more random positions on the build plate to ensure the bed is properly calibrated in any area. It should be noted that after a few prints, things may get shifted about. Please remember to recalibrate your printer often to ensure consistent printing every time you use it. Once the bed is nice and level, we can start loading in your filament of choice. We include a small amount of filament that you can use to get familiar with the printer. It should be noted that this amount is not enough to finish a full print. It's only for you to get familiar with the beginning process and run some tests. With that said, let's run through the steps to get your filament going. Place your choice of filament on the filament rack. Using a pair of scissors, cut a diagonal edge on the end of your filament. Press down the tension tab on the extruder motor and pass the filament through the assembly into the Bowden connector until it enters the filament guide tube. Continue to use your fingers to push the filament until you feel the filament stop. Now power on your printer. Navigate to the temperature section on the menu, then select extruder. Set the extruder to the temperature required for the filament you will be using. It will begin to preheat. Once it reaches the set temperature, exit the preheat menu and navigate to Move. Select Z-axis and rotate the control wheel counterclockwise to raise the extruder off the build platform and allow visibility. Now. Navigate through the Move options and select Extruder. Turn the control wheel counterclockwise to feed the filament into the extruder. Continue this until the filament begins to come out of the nozzle. When the printer is all warmed up, you can go through and select Print File to get started. When printing from an SD card, move the control wheel over Print. Click the control wheel to view all the files on the SD card. After you select your file, it will display the print settings, like bed and extruder temperature. From here, your printer will start working. You can sit back and watch the magic happen. Once the printing process starts, we recommend standing by and monitoring the printer to ensure nothing unexpected happens. If you need to step away, it would be best to stop your print. While on the print screen, you can move the control wheel to highlight and select Cancel. With the sample print complete, congrats! You're now ready to start your own prints. I'm Gilbert with Monoprice, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out monoprice.com for 3D printing products, questions, and support. With the sample print complete, congrats. You're ready to start your own print, create your own prints. <laughs> My name is Gilbert with Model Price, and thanks for watching. Don't forget. <laughs> you got, you, <laughs> don't forget, like, smile, dude. Just like, congrats. Like, you're yes. excited for them. Like, yeah. cool. With the sample print complete, congrats. You're ready to create your own prints now. My name is Gilbert. Thanks for watching. <laughs> right so, there. Close. Close. so close, so close.